Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projective Reviews and joining me is Tom from AV Pro. And we are at Infocom 2024 looking at some of their awesome solutions that are targeted towards the professional integrator and installer. So, so Tom, um, can you talk a little bit about the products you make and um, starting with some of the originals, like the test pattern generator? Sure, definitely. So uh, we're a manufacturer of audio video equipment and mostly working with video distribution. Um, but unlike a lot of video distribution companies, we got our start in testing and measuring of HDMI signals. So this, um, you may look like I'm playing Game Boy or something here, but that, <laughs> that's actually not the case. Um, we have our 8K Fox and Hound generator analyzer testing a, a tool right here. The original Fox and Hound is just a, uh, a the next evolution in our original product, which was the Meridio 6G and 6A, the original 4K generator that was able to do 18 gigabits per second. And we really took that information that we learned about image quality and timing and resolution, and we put that into our video distribution equipment that we sell today under AV Pro Edge. Um, and so that's what we're showing today. Um, but all of the things that we show today of, at Infocom for AV Pro Edge, it's born out of this uh, scientifically accurate signals that are coming from the um, testing and measuring yeah. side. So like, for example, a lot of our calibration equipment you um, we got for you guys, we have a seven uh, 7G, yep. all the things that we use to uh, to test and measure our projectors. Also, some other things like you guys make a very good four in, two out scaling switcher that, that we actually utilize in our lab for comparing uh, projectors and that piece we got from you as well. Exactly, I love reading about all your new projector reviews and, and hearing when those pop up because it is really cool, right? We, we know that our customers wanna have the best picture quality possible. And so every time you add something in between the source and the projector or the TV, you are, it's, there's a potential for something to happen to that signal. And so we wanna take it upon ourselves to ensure that nothing is happening to that signal. And we we can deliver the best imaging possible from the source all the way to the yeah. sink. So you have the ability to, to test cables, you have the ability to provide high-end video switching, um, and then another thing that you guys do a lot is a long distance video distribution. Let's talk about all the different options, starting from the starting from the uh, HD base T type solution. Exactly. So this right here is this thing that we're talking about. A couple black boxes, and this is our best-selling extender. This was a 4K extender that we've been selling for six or seven years. But basically what happens is, hey, your projector is going to have to be mounted somewhere. How are we, where is the source going to be? Are you able to run a, a HDMI cable from that source all the way to your projector? Not every time, right? So in order to get that signal, to go long distances, with our products, you can use category cable. So then you can convert that HDMI signal to a category signal, or a, a signal that is uh, stable over category cable and um, you know convert it back on the other side. And this allows you to take an HDMI signal way beyond what the HDMI spec is for distance. Like that one we just showed does 70 meters, but we can go up to 100 meters or even further, 150 meters. And then if we switch to fiber optics in 8K, we can go kilometers. So, so we went from Cat5 to fiber, right? Yes. And fiber, how long can you go with a fiber? Well, I mean, it is technically kilometers. We have tested it up to three kilometers, but you could potentially maybe even go more if it is single mode fiber with our uh, 444 line of fiber. Exactly. And, but if you think about those two applications, HD base T or and especially fiber, that is for, if you're really, 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 really concerned with absolute picture quality, say you're running a high-end theater, of course you want to use the, the, the highest bandwidth with highest quality, right? Exactly, we have copper that's gonna be able to support 18 gigabit per second now, and we're very, a, a lot of people are pleased with that. We definitely want that. But as we start to move into HDMI 2.1, and we look at go, increasing to 48 gigabits per second, or however it's going to go in the future, we have to remember that copper pipe's about this big, and that we're sending a signal that's the exact size. With fiber, the, the bandwidth is this big, and we're using this much of it right now, and it really shows the industry and your um, customers and your own setups that, hey, I'm ready for the next evolution. I'm not going to be having bandwidth limit me. Exactly. I'm going to be able to... But we, always tell, we, we always tell customers, you know, or anybody that's going to buy this type of solution, buy once, cry once. Yep. The, most, the most challenging part in most installation jobs is, is running the cable 
um, the distance you need to run it in a large facility, right? Um, so being able to run that cable and know that that cable is going to be ready for 4K, 8K, wherever else is coming by just changing the endpoints you know, um, it, it is a better application for any end user in exactly. um, those types of applications. We know that this infrastructure is important. What if you do have to put it behind a wall? Are you going to take the time to run it through your ceiling? Well, let's have you only do that once. Exactly. Right. And so by having that infrastructure that's ready for the future, you are setting yourself up for success and for whatever else we don't even know is going to come out over the next 10 years. Exactly. And if you think about it, um, a lot of those solutions are for maybe a home or or maybe a single or maybe three, four, five zones, right? But when we get into professional applications, you can have hundreds and hundreds of of, uh, of, of uh, the displays, whether it's dig digital signage is a classic exactly. example of that. And that's where your other solution comes in, right? That's exactly right. So now we're talking about wider distribution. So this is where we started, you know, point to point, one projector at a time. But as our customers were getting into larger installs, wanting to put together auditoriums for universities and look at larger classrooms, conferencing, we needed to have that solution for them. And we moved to the network with AV over IP, a way that we can convert audio video signals into a standard networking signal that then can be transferred and passed throughout um, you know the uh, entire system so now with this video uh, with full massive video distribution we can put a hundred sources to a thousand TVs and have them all be interconnected but we still need to have that strong infrastructure so we are actually showing two different solutions a one gig solution and a 10 gig solution so depending on what kind of signals that your um, uh, video distribution system needs we have a solution for you but as we break this down we can kind of talk about what makes up a video distribution system so we have here an encoder this connects to a, uh, some sort of source it gets routed to our network switch our network switch is then also connected to a decoder that would go to every TV we also can see underneath the TV over here that we do have our decoders that are out as well so what happens is we're sending a source from the encoder Encoder over to the decoder and but we're doing it on a large scale system so we can have hundreds of inputs hundreds of outputs running an entire system or we can make it a nice tight system with four inputs and four outputs but this concept is the same it is just scalable so if you want if you need that AV over IP um, at uh, with USB but you're um, looking you don't need tiling you don't need multiple pictures on a screen, then 1G is going to be your system. It's going to have great picture quality, but not the best. Now, if you want the best picture quality, you go for our 10G system. That's going to allow for HDR and um, 4K6444, give you uncompressed HDMI signals, as well as sending USB, Ethernet, and de-embedded audio. So now with this system, you can put together a complete ecosystem of audio video distribution. Yeah, and you make all the parts. So not only do you make the end point, even the switch, exactly. you guys you guys make all of that to maintain the quality control, right? Yes. Um, so, you know, a lot of people will have encoders and decoders for this AV over IP system, but you do have to be an expert in networking. Not every AV person is, a, is an expert in networking. Or want to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Or want to be, right? We're experts in AV. We spent a lot of time to learn this stuff, right? Yeah. So let's stick with what we know. So what we did for for integrators is we made the network switch and we pre-configure it for audio video traffic only so even if you wanted to use this for your normal internet and your normal networking then you have to configure it because it's configured out of the box to work with our encoders our decoders our control system that our control system works with any control system that you work with and that allows installers and at these large kind of pro uh, commercial type environments to put in these large distribution systems. We are trying to give deliver the best imaging possible. The nice thing about going into AV over IP is you do get a very good picture. It may not be as pristine as me and Phil want to in our in our uh, theater rooms, but it is going to be very good for that pro environment. 
environment. For And so what happens then is we don't need to have the best cables. We can use Cat 5e or Cat 6 that was already installed because this is now working just like a network that would for internet. And that is a huge uh, you know, benefit for people that are need to put in a job on something that's not new construction. Sure, new construction, we can get the cables, but what do we do when it's not new construction? We don't want to tear down these walls. Let's use the infrastructure that's there, has been used for networking for a long time, and we can enter the AV uh, distribution through that same okay. um, So that AV over IP complete solution is MXNet. Yes, okay. exactly. MX so net. yeah, MXNet, and so MX is for matrix, and then net is network. So it's kind of like a matrixable network. We've um, always sold matrixes, that's what the switch that that Phil was talking about when you know he's he's testing two projectors at the same time. So we take that same technology that we built our cust our you know our customers base with, and then we implement that into now the network side. Um, just kind of seeing the the uh, transition in the trends that we see in our our industry, how we do go from this point to point to larger and larger systems as the uh, technologies available. Uh, I, and I think, like I said, it's it's nice to see um, all these different solutions being offered. Is there anything else that you? showing that you'd like to cover? Well, the last thing I want to talk about is a new trend that we're finding in AV, and that is USB. So we have now been using HDMI forever as our transport method, but what's starting to happen is people want to connect their laptops to their projectors, or they want to connect their laptops to their displays. Well, a lot of laptops now have USB-C out. They don't always have an HDMI out. So now we get to have the fun, exciting task of creating solutions to make sure that everybody can do that. So as we were talking about earlier, USB cabling has its limitations, but Bullet Train, one of the AV Pro's cable brands, is bringing to market USB-C cables that are full featured, able to do data and audio video at the same time. But even more so, they're not directional, so you can have uh, it plugged in this way, or we can flip it around, plug it in this way, it doesn't matter. They're completely pinned out to work for all environments. Nothing is more uh, frustrating than buying a brand new USB-C cable and realizing it doesn't function the way you wanted it to. It's the wild west of USB right now. But with AV Pro Edge and Bullet Train Solutions, we can go beyond that to deliver stable products with 10-year warranties. In today's world of conference room and collaboration, USB is king. And what happens is we now have a world full of USB 3.2 devices. That includes conference room cameras, USB cameras, USB microphones. Well, how do we get that taxing USB 3.2 signal from where the microphone is or where the, um, uh, to where the microphone is or where the camera is? You can do that with USB extension. But now with the help of Valens, we're able to use their new ICs to deliver USB 3 up to 100 meters from the laptop over to the microphone microphone and the uh, USB 3.2 USB camera with only one single category cable. So now installing USB cameras and USB microphones in conference rooms is a reality with our simple small solution. So that's kind of you as we look around Infocom 2024, we're really starting to see that transition from um, the DVI, SDI, HDMI, IP to USB not being used just for keyboard, mouse, but you being used for a web camera, a microphone, or even just your signal from your source to your TV. Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's good because I have a, I just got a new Mac and it has, it has, has two USBs on. I'm like, well, now I got to get an adapter to convert yeah. to HDMI to run it into a, to run it into a, an extender that is, ah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and everybody's in that position. Yeah. And, and think of yourself out there. How often do we use USB? Well, everybody uses it every day. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it is uh, really good to see the industry start to trying to utilize this new technology, and we can start to answer some questions on where this is going to go. USB has um, can use DisplayPort technology, so we can already send 40 gigabits of data through USB. That's pretty cool because we know we're now ter we're combining our you know um, we're up there with the same kind of standards as HDMI 2.1 with 48 gigabits per second. So it's really cool to see those two technologies grow at the same time. That, that's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. So if you think about the um, the AV 
pro family. Um, depending on what you're looking for, yeah. you may see different brands, right? Yeah. So, so when it comes to test pattern equipment, that is under the Meridio. Exactly. Meridio is our testing and measuring scientifically accurate tools for the integrator. That's going to be under Meridio. Okay. And then we have video distribution. That is AV Pro Edge. Mm -hmm. So that's um, going to be where you see the green all around. Um, we are uh, manufacturing those products. But then our next one is bullet train uh, cabling. And with through bullet train cabling, is where you're gonna find those USB and HDMI cables that are ultra stable. Um, and then la last but not least, we have acquired Audio Control last year, a 47-year-old audio amplifier company. And so now we're going to be bringing the best in video, meeting with the best in audio to elevate all of our products throughout the entire system, um, line of AV Pro companies. Excellent. So if I want to learn more, or they wanted to learn more about your lineup of products, where would they go? Please visit us at www www.avproedge.com. You can also find our contact information there. So if you have a specific question, reach out. We have experts sitting around waiting for you guys to talk to us. Um, we can't wait to answer any questions you guys have. Yes, and, and, and I also want to point out that they have a very, very good um, um, uh, presence on YouTube. So if you're thinking about whether you have calibration questions or, or questions on how to utilize their products or information about HDMI, um, they are a very, very good resource for that. So make sure that you also like and subscribe to their YouTube channel and you better have liked and subscribed to mine as well. And by the way, um, AV Pro and Meridio also sponsoring um, our um, uh, think of it as our Summer Projection Summit, which includes the coverage of Infocom. So we'd like to thank you for helping and supporting uh, projected reviews as well. So those out there, take care and we will talk to you soon.